Uh, hi guys, this is Poke Bunny Nick recording another uh, FP VOD for the Amazon Basin, and this game, as requested by MR God, uh, I'm going to do a Dark Templar Protoss versus Terran opening. Uh, I'm sorry that this couldn't be on one of the tournament maps. I played a game on Andromeda earlier with this build, but it didn't go very well, so I decided I'd use this game because. This is uh, one of the maps of the week for IC Cup, so it was a lot easier to, to get a game on this map. Hopefully, like, the idea will still come across. Uh, so, this is a game... I'm not going to be recording a single-player build uh, VOD for this game, because I think that the build isn't really what is... what is not quite as important here as what you do in the game. Uh, First of all, you might notice this game I'm scouting right on pylon. I think uh, this this helps because I know as a Terran it's pretty annoying when you've got a probe in your base early on. You can threaten to gas steal, make him get his gas earlier. You can harass the SEVs building, uh, and you can do a lot of stuff with that probe that, or threat even just threaten a lot of stuff with that probe that messes him up a bit. And this and this build doesn't have quite the uh, same urgency to get all your buildings up right away that the 1015 gate pressure does. Um, so I'm getting my gateway on 10 as normal. I end up scouting, not scouting him first. Uh, the build I'm going to do this game is uh, one gateway DT build. Uh, a two gateway DT build is probably a little safer, uh, and but you get a later expansion and it's... Uh, it's basically stronger if your opponent's prepared. One gate DT is a bit more all in, but you get a lot out of it if you if you are able to harass him or even kill him. So basically, the idea of this build is just get Dark Templar extremely fast off one gateway and then expand very early using the Dark Templar sort of a uh, using this Dark Templar to contain and harass him as you expand. And then if depending on how your harass is going, you could even take a third base before adding a bunch of gateways and getting zealot speed. So, uh, I end up scouting him last, which is sort of annoying because it partly ruins the point of scouting so early, which is to harass and threaten. I managed to get in before his wall is done anyways, which is sort of a bad uh, mistake on his part. So I'm just scouting around, harassing the SCVs. I don't do a very good job of multitasking uh, and harassing the SCVs. My first Dragoon's going to be really late, uh, a lot later than it should be. But it doesn't end up making a huge difference as um as he doesn't really pressure very early on. So one thing you might notice different about this build is you do not get range at all until after your Dark Templar because you need the gas right away to make your Citadel of a Dune and then following Templar archives. So in this game, since my Dragoon is late and I failed, uh, I pull two probes to block the choke when my first Dragoon comes out, or even try and block the choke before it comes out. Uh, so I've lost my scout. Try to keep your scout alive as long as possible, by the way. It's just really annoying for the Terran. and makes him think about it rather than thinking about, you know, getting detection and preparing for everything he needs to prepare for. So now I've, uh, yeah, this build works best on ramp maps simply because you can block your ramp with one Dragoon and just stop him from scouting your build, which is really the crucial part about this build. So now I'm just microing and uh, taking out the scout. Luckily, it doesn't see what I'm doing. If it had gone straight down, obviously, it would have seen my DT. But uh, he's probably gotten suspicious from the fact that I got uh, blocked my uh, choke with two probes. So now I'm starting my Templar archives. I'm going to get three Dragoons before my Templar are out. My pylon's late, as you can see. That's another proof that I'm not really a Protoss player and no, don't know this build order very well. So uh, I'm getting my probe ready to expand because this build, it's really sort of, it's pretty cheesy and like you can get a lot of wins against lesser players on IC Cup and stuff and it's really an annoying build so if you're really trying to get better I don't suggest using this build but it's a nice like you know change for a tournament match or something where you might want to switch up your tactics or something. I personally would never go this build in a game that I was playing just for fun because I prefer to play more, uh, let's just call it safer builds. Uh, I just don't like this build for standard play. So now I see that he's making a turret, and that's not good for me. So what I do is I'm going to take my Dragoons, and I'm going to send them over to his cliff and attack the turret from the cliff because I can reach it from that annoying cliff. 
uh, you might have noticed that I got my expansion. I'm making a couple Dark Templar. Uh, so, yeah. In a second, I'm going to get range because since I only went for one gate, I can get range a little bit earlier because I'm not spending as much gas on Dragoons and Dark Templar. So, yeah, here I get range. <laughs> 